happened this past week, the loss of the leading light of lawn ornamentation. For we learned of the death this past Monday of Don Featherstone, an art school graduate turned plastic fabricator. Featherstone created ornaments of every description, from snowmen to Santas to fanciful animals. But he will be forever remembered for his acknowledged masterpiece, the Pink Flamingo. Created in 1957, the Pink Flamingo has ruled the roost for almost 60 years now. And what do you call these things? Our Bill Geist traded Pink Flamingo lore with Penn State professor Anne-Marie Thigpen back in 1989. The Pink Flamingo. They're not dead. They're alive and well, aren't they? <laughs> now, one time I knew an Illinois Flamingo from a Pennsylvania Flamingo. Those are two of the big manufacturers of them. I'm not real sure. You would say that. You I, I, would you're say the expert <laughs> on that. Certainly not me. From countless front yards, Pink flamingos have also gone on to star on the silver screen. They graced, if that's the right word, the opening shot of the 1972 John Waters cult classic, Pink Flamingo. Do you know what it's like to be trapped for 20 years? While the 2011 Disney animated film Nomeo and Juliet featured a talking pink flamingo named Featherstone in honor of its inventor. Featherstone, how's the other leg? I don't know, Featherstone, remember? Beloved by its fans, banned by a few fussy homeowner associations, the pink flamingo won its creator a tongue-in-cheek Ig Nobel Prize back in 1996, which he and his wife Nancy accepted wearing their trademark look-alike outfits. Don Featherstone was 79.